I'm going to install the processor and then the heat sink and then the RAM modules uh, before installing the board into the case. So we have a little arrow here and the arrow right there. We have our CPU fan up there. Alright, the heat sinks on. So we'll go ahead and get this. You always want to uh, verify the direction that this goes in relation to the motherboard and the case before you put it in. You want to start all of the screws, but don't actually tighten all, any of them down all the way until you've got them all in. All right, now that I have all the screws in, I'm going to go ahead and tighten it down. You don't want to use too much force or you could break the uh, uh, motherboard itself. So I have a case fan that came with up front here and two in the or excuse me, in the back here and two in the front up here. Typically the white is always going to be negative. Alright, reset switch. The box came with the speaker. So, black and red, we're going to do the red as the positive. So again, there's a fan here for the exhaust. You want to put the labeling so that it faces down and is legible when the case is upright and otherwise ready for use. I am not using this compartment for the uh, two and a half inch, so I'm going to wrap these two cables and store them in there.
Okay, hopefully this is a slightly better angle for everyone to see. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is install all of the uh, cabling for the SATA drives. Okay, I've uh, decided I'm gonna put these stickers on. I'm gonna put them across right here. Got the processor, because I feel like that's the most important. Followed by the motherboard, the RAM, and the power supply. All right, well they may not be perfect, but they're pretty good, and all I did was eyeball them, so I can't keep playing too 